Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel Hi Mathematics and today we have a really interesting challenge, this is challenge from entrance examination right here, x to the 6th power minus x cube equal to 2 and right now let's solve this challenge. First of all let's bring this 2 from our right side to left side, okay let's do this right now. So what do we have right here, x to the 6th power minus x cube and minus 2 equal to equal to 0. So as you can see we just bring this 2 from our right side to left side. Right now, what we're going to do, let's write this x to the 6th power, so let's write this x to the 6th power as x cubed square. So instead of this x to the 6th power, let's write the next expression, let's write this x cubed to the 2nd power, okay? And the next expression is absolutely the same, so we have minus x cubed, minus 2, and equal to equal to 0. So this is really great. Right now, x cubed right here, x cubed right here, absolutely the same expression. So it's it's really great for us to write a substitution right here. So let, let's write it right here. So let x cubed equal to, for example, let's go with t. Okay, let's go with t. x cubed equal to t. So instead of this x cubed, let's plug in t. Okay, so we have right here t square. Okay, so instead of x cubed, we have t. So t square. Okay, from here we have, we have t square minus, we have right here x cubed, we have right here t, because this is t, yeah, minus t, and minus 2, equal to 0. Really great. And right now, we had, in the beginning, we had the 6th power, we have equation with the 6th power, right now we have the uh, second power, so it looks like a quadratic equation. So right now, let's solve this quadratic equation, but I want to show you a really, I'm going to show you a really great approach, how can you solve this challenge? So let's look closely. I don't want to, to find a discriminant right here, I'm going to show you this really great trick. So instead of this minus t, I want to write the next expression, so we have absolutely the same beginning, so we can write here t square, and instead of this minus t, I want to write minus 2t and plus t. So I want to write minus 2t and plus t. This is absolutely the same thing. So if we add this thing, we have minus t. So absolutely the same thing. And minus 2. Minus 2 equal to equal to 0. Really great. Right now, let's group our t square minus 2t in, in one parenthesis and t minus 2 in another parenthesis. So let's do this. So right here, what do we have? t square minus 2t in one parenthesis and plus t minus 2 plus t minus 2 in another parenthesis equal to equal to 0. Right now let's factor from this parenthesis let's factor t. We can easily do this because we have it here t square and t we can also factor 1t and as a result in, in this parenthesis we have t minus 2 and plus right here this one plus t minus 2 equal to 0. Right now, really great moment, because right here we have t minus 2 and t minus 2, so we can also factor this uh, t minus 2. Okay, let's do this. So let's factor this. Let's factor this t minus 2. So we have right here t minus 2, and in another parenthesis we have t plus 1. Yeah, t plus 1. T plus 1 equal to equal to 0. And right now, uh, we have a product of two parentheses, okay? This parentheses times this parenthesis. So it means, uh, of course, a product equal to 0, yeah? So when a product of two parentheses equal to 0, it means that first parenthesis is equal to 0 or the second parenthesis is equal to 0. So basically, we can easily split our, our solution and we can also write our t minus 2 equal to 0. So t minus 2 equal to 0. This is our first part, and the second part, t plus 1 equal to 0. t plus 1 equal to 0. Okay, right now, t minus 2 equal to 0, from here, t equal to t equal to 2. But, right here, what do we have right here? We have that our x cube equal to t. So, from here, we have our equation. So, x cube equal to t, but t equal to 2. So, we have x cube equal to 2. And from here, let's find, let's uh, apply a cube's root on both sides, and as a result, from here, our x equal to cube's root of two. As you can see, we find our one, one root. Uh, it will be like our x first. Really great. But we also had a second part. So uh, from here, t equal to minus one. Okay. So we can write out here that t equal to minus one. And basically x cube equal to t. So as a result we have x cube equal to minus 1, x cube equal to minus 1. And how can we solve this equation? Right now we can easily find our one root that x equal to minus 1, but we want to find all of these roots right here. So we need to bring this minus 1 from our right side to left side. So let's do the thing right now. So we have right here x cube plus 1 
equal to zero. Yeah, we can also find our x equal to minus one, but we want to find all of these roots right here. So let's look at this approach, x cubed plus one equal to zero. Right now, this is a formula. This is our mm, sum of two cubes, because we can also write right here three, and as a result, we have like x cubed plus one cube. So right now, let's apply our formula, but let's continue to solve this challenge right, like that right here. So we have right here x cubed plus one equal to zero x cubed plus 1 equal to 0. Right now, let's apply our formula, the sum of two cubes. So we have right here x plus 1, yeah? We have right here x plus 1, and times another parenthesis. What do we have in another parenthesis? x squared minus x and plus 1 equal to, equal to 0. Really great. And right now, as I told before right here, we have this solution x plus 1 equal to 0 because we have a product x plus 1 equal to 0. And from here, we have this x second equal to minus one. Yeah, we have this solution. Yeah, we have this solution as I told before. We have the solution from here, but we also have this complex part. I guess it will be like a complex solution like that because because we have a um, quadratic equation right here. And I guess that right here we have like a negative a negative quadratic a negative solution, negative discriminant. Okay, so let's let's solve this. So we have x square minus x plus one equal to equal to zero. Right now let's find our discriminant. Everyone know about this coefficient. We have right here a equal to one, b equal to minus one, and c equal to c equal to one. Let's find our discriminant. Discriminant equal to b square minus four ac equal to b equal to minus one. So we have minus one we have square. So we have minus one square minus 4 times 1 and times 1 equal to, right here we have 1 minus 4 equal to minus 3, and as I told before, right here we have complex, complex solution, and let's find our complex root. So from here, x third and fourth, because we had in the beginning we have x first, right here we have x second, and right now x third and fourth, because we have like two roots, negative discriminant, um, we have like two roots right here, yeah, but complex, yeah, two roots but complex, equal to, we have right here minus b plus minus square root of discriminant, and all over, all over to a, let's plug in all of the thing into this spot, minus b we have right here 1, 1 plus minus square root of minus 3, and all over to a, 2 times 1 equal to, equal to 2. Right now, let's simplify this a little bit. We can also create this complex unit because we have square root of minus 3. We can also write this square root of minus 3 as 1 plus minus square root of minus 1 yeah, times square root of 3. And basically, we have, this, we have this complex unit right here. So this is equal to 1 plus minus i square root of 3, so i square root of 3 over 2. But someone prefer another expression, so for example, right here you can also write this expression in another way, okay, because obviously right here we can divide both sides by 2, okay, we can divide both sides, so right here we have 2, I forget about this, yeah, we have right here 2, and as a result we can also write this expression as 1, 1 over 2, times plus minus i square root of 3 over 2. But maybe someone interested in, in this answer, this is also a great, a great solution. So right now, let's write our, let's write our all of this, all of these answers right here. So our answer, let's write all of these things right here. So our answer, our answer. So x first equal to, x first equal to, from here, cubes root of 2. x second equal to, right here, we have minus 1, x third and fourth, x third and fourth equal to this expression, this complex, this complex solution, 1 plus minus, 1 plus minus i square root of 3 over 2. And this is our solution to this challenge. We have all of this solution. We have four solution, one, two, three, and four. And you can also see a plot right here. You can also see a, a complex plane. You can also see a graph right here. So you can also see this um, this this solution from a perspective of, uh, from geometric perspective right here. So you can also see this from another perspective. This is, this is really great. And right now we can also check this uh, cubes root of two. Let's do this, for example, maybe someone want to prove right here. So we have already have a solution, but let's check our, let's check our, our x equal to cubes root of two. It's, it's great for us to check it. This solution cubes root of two. So from here, what do we have right here? Cubes root of two to the power six minus 
cubes root of 2 to the power 3 equal to equal to 2 and basically what do we have right here 2 to the power square equal to 4 yeah from here we have 4 minus right here we have 2 equal to equal to 2 so everything is is great we completely solved this challenge i hope you understand this explanation i hope you learned something new but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong you can also write your thoughts down into the comment section write your suggestion down into the comment section it will be really interesting to read about it and also thank you for your support see you in the next videos also write your thoughts down in the comment section and have a great day